Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about multiplying and dividing complex numbers. Here are the two problems that we'll do, and to make sure that we don't take ourselves too seriously, let's think about the fun question. Think about the farthest distance you have ever traveled from your home. Where did you go? All right, so on the ACT section, um, Algebra 2, under Algebra 2, we have complex numbers. Uh, in Algebra 2, you typically learn about I or the square root of negative one for the first time. And so we are working on multiplying and dividing uh, here. One of the standards explicitly uh, for the ACT is can you multiply complex numbers? And I do have a video on simplifying, adding, and subtracting complex numbers in case you want to watch that before this one or even after is fine too. But a complex number is just um, a number in the form a plus bi, where a is the real part to that of that uh, number, and then bi is the imaginary part. So then what is i? Well, i is not a variable. It's actually a number, and it uh, is the same thing as square root of negative one. So the funny thing is it operates like a variable, which is why we use it. We want it to simplify our life, no pun intended, uh, to simplify the way that we do this process, um, like having those same exponent um, and variable properties. But we we just need to remember that it's a number. So you kind of treat it as an X, but then you have to remember a few little things along the way, which I will point out in both of these problems. Okay, so right away, when you see this problem, you might be thinking FOIL. And that's great because when you multiply two items that have multiple terms, you need to make sure that you multiply every term by every other term in the other binomial here. So meaning, you know, first, outer, inner, last. We would do these guys together, these guys together. Let's let's do that. So negative 56 and then plus 32i. Uh, then FOIL would tell you to uh, throw this in the mix too. So negative 28i and these two would be 16i squared. We can't forget that squared. I like to stack these and um, have a lane for each of the the like terms so that I make sure I don't forget anything and I stay really organized. So the negative 56 comes down and then 32 minus 28 is 4. I need the i there. And then we have 16i squared. Now, a lot of you probably think, oh, that's our answer. But a complex number needs to be in that format a plus bi, where we have that real part and then the imaginary part. So this number secretly can uh, simplify down to something. Well, another thing we have to remember is if i is square root of negative 1, i squared is two of those. And when you have two roots and you're squaring a root, that root sign will go away. So this then is negative one. Uh, all right, so every i squared when you're multiplying needs to then become a negative one. So this would not be your final answer here. The final answer is uh, you figure that out once you throw in the negative one. So we have negative 56 plus 4i minus 16. And then we would just add the negative 56 and 16, and that would be, so negative 72 plus 4i. Um, I have my A term, I have my B term, we're good. That's the final answer. It is a complex number, and um, I just need to remember that all i squareds need to go away. So that's how you multiply them. Uh, dividing is very similar. So. A lot of people would think, well, maybe I could just divide these two and then uh, divide these two and maybe the I's would cancel. Well, the only problem with doing that is we have a, a minus and we have a plus here that kind of block that process. That would be 
considered illegal, so to speak, uh, with algebra rules. Um, so, and how do we get these I's, you know, how do we have some sort of A plus B I final answer? Well, one major thing we need to remember as well is an I is a square root. Like we said, that uh, technically cannot stay in the denominator as our final answer. It's not fully simplified. It's sort of like leaving an answer as, say, four eighths instead of one half. Um, so the I needs to go away somehow uh, from the denominator. The smartest and fastest way to do this is you can multiply a whole fraction by a fraction that simplifies to one whole, um, meaning like the top and the bottom are the same. And so if I do 3 minus 9i here and 3 minus 9i on top, that's fair game because uh, you can multiply something by the same on top and bottom. That's just like multiplying by 1. And then the nice thing is something will happen on the bottom here where the i's will actually go away. Uh, the i, well, the you'll see. We will have an i left over somewhere, but um, th there's a reason why we need to do this plus and minus. Um, that right there, by the way, is called taking the conjugate. So let's get organized with our work here. Um, this is the complex conjugate and it's basically like taking the opposite so that we achieve some goal in the end you'll see so up top this is just multiplying again and then we have basically a double foil situation so i'm just going to go ahead and write that out so we will have negative 27 uh here and then plus 81 i and minus 20, oh, forgot the one. Um, this is where you need to be really careful to make sure all the negatives are accounted for and everything. Um, okay, plus, and then minus 21i plus 63i squared. And then on the bottom, it's going to be the same deal where we're foiling, right? So we have got 9, and then minus 27i plus 27i, and then minus 81i squared. Okay, so right now your brain should be thinking, oh, there's an i squared. Something's going to happen with that. Uh, equals, what, 27, negative 27 plus, and then this will be 60i plus 63 times not i squared. We want that to go away. That is negative 1 right there. So down here then, 9 and then something funny happens here where the i terms will cancel because, see, this is a difference of squares right here. So we know that that middle term is going to cancel. And then we do minus 81. And then that i squared, once again, is a negative 1. And hey, there's no i in the denominator anymore. So we're good. We, we're not going to be left um, with a final answer that is not simplified. So it looks like we're on the right track here negative 27 plus 60i and then minus 63 all over i need to be careful with my negatives 9 and then this will be plus 80 positive 81 okay so we're gonna keep going negative okay so now i can do the negative 27 minus 63 that is negative 90 plus 60i over and then 9 plus 81 is 90. Okay, so you might think that that's the final answer, and it really is. Uh, but I have seen the ACT answer choices in a more, like, you know, a, a simplified version that's like one step further. So you can take that 90, you know, that and 90 and put it over or under each term. So negative 90 over 90 plus the 60i over the 90. And then that simplifies to negative 1 plus, and then, oops, and then the 60 over 90, that's the same thing as 2 thirds. So you would do like 2i over 3 or 2 thirds i. So I would be more comfortable with that second answer.
but technically both are correct. So there you have multiplying and dividing. I think it's more common that you'd see multiplying, um, but I have also seen dividing here and there as well. So why don't you try some practice? Very, very similar problems, just different numbers. The dividing problem is a little easier because there's not um, a second term on top. But why don't you go ahead and pause the video. I will show you the answers. Answers are here. Notice how both are, uh, you know, in that A plus BI format. I would just say that the, the more likely option for an answer on the ACT would be like putting that 25 under each piece, right? So minus 9i for 25. Okay, and make sure always, too, that these get uh, simplified if they need to. Quote to leave you with some inspiration. I like this. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. That is good food for thought. All right, I hope this video benefited you in some way, and I would love to see the, your fun question answer in the comments. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with new videos, and have a good day.